Hello, and welcome back to another Dominion Intrigue Mix match. This is against Seprix. Seprix and I have both been eliminated from... Oh, oops, I didn't unmute my mic. Okay, here we go. Uh, Seprix and I have both been eliminated from the tournament. Uh, apparently, RTT thinks that this match could determine who gets the first and second seed out of Amoffit and Kathleen coming out of our group. Not actually sure that's true, but whatever. It'll still be fun to play, even if it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have Amulet for trashing. Um, there's Quarry and Squire, so I guess you can do some discounting stuff. Uh, I guess... Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. Not much draw. I guess Farming Village Vault uh, is... Maybe that's good enough. Uh, oh, there's Platinum and Colony. Okay. There's also Crown. So you should be able to build pretty big on this board. So I guess the question is, do I open double amulet or not that? Is Necromancer worth getting? Is Quarry worth getting? Yeah, so Seprix is, Seprix is opening double amulet, which does seem good because you get to save. So I think I'm going to do that as well. So I've got four. I'll probably just pick up a farming village since I do have two terminals. I think I think getting a quarry could be good at some point, but I don't think there is there's not like a high urgency to getting to five or something like that. Oh no. Other amulet missed the shuffle. Sad. Much sad. So here, I guess I could um, trash one estate, save the other estate by a squire. Could be reasonable. Okay, cool. So we found the amulet, which means we can trash this other estate, so that's good. It means I'm not super far behind. I think... I think my first five is probably just going to be Vault for draw. I mean, it's not an amazing... It's not an amazing option for that. Like, not that big of a hand size increase, but I still would like to work towards drawing my deck. First Silver Gain. Okay, so... Trash here, do we want to gain a silver? 
well, there's not much point in taking buys. So the question is, do I want a silver? And I think I do. And do I want another farming village? Maybe I'd rather have a quarry. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll pick up a quarry. All right, so trash and trash. I don't really want another squire, I don't think. So I think I will, oh, oops. Do that. I might want another squire at some point, but not now. Okay, so separate skip that's the tunnel. Actually, I wasn't looking at that, but tunnel vault could be pretty good if you wanna focus on just having a lot of money. Maybe that is what I should go for. Uh, but in the meantime, let's trash copper. And I guess we're getting another silver. I mean, I don't, I don't want to gain like a ton of silver, because there's, you know, if you want to get treasure, there's crown, there's gold from tunnel, and there's platinum. Um, Yeah. I'll gain one more silver. And I don't think I can save anything and still buy a vault, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, actually, Farming Village also reveals in Discard's Tunnel. So, we got multiple synergies going on with Tunnel. Um, I guess we'll just take a coin here. And... So I could save the quarry for the for Squire, um, though then I don't have enough money to buy anything. Uh, if I play the quarry, I can't really buy any actions that I want to buy. It's a little awkward. I mean, I guess I could get another Squire. Hmm. Or I could just buy a vault. I think I'm gonna go with the save option. I will get another square. Oh, I don't see my square. <laughs> That's bad. Ugh. OK, 
Okay, well... Hmm... I can't save both Quarry and Squire, but now I have two Squires, so maybe... Do I want to trigger this shuffle? Do I want to just buy... Something? I could save the Vault. Yeah, let's do that. If I, if I want to get get going on the gold stuff, I do need to get a tunnel, but I'd rather do that off of a plus buy. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want to discard. That reaction is potentially going to make this game pretty slow. Nicely done. Yeah, I'm looking pretty behind right now. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any reason for me to discard here either. Although, hmm, actually, if I want plus buy, and I can't play these amulets, how badly do I want plus buy? How much money am I going to have if I play square for plus five? One, two, three, four, five, six, um, and up to eight with the vault discard. Yeah, we'll just do that. Um, okay, so we can buy like vault tunnel farming village. I should probably pick up some crowns too. Yeah. I guess there's no reason to discard now. Play a squire for actions. Play another vault. Okay, so now I guess we're discarding the amulets again. <laughs> okay, so this time I need to give a little bit more thought to how much money I have, because I don't know that I'm actually going to need to spend all of this, so I might want to save. Uh, I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, so... I mean, I could... If I wanted to save like a copper, I'd have eight, but maybe I'd rather get like, let's see, crown farming village vault would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could do that. Maybe is it better to get another crown than another vault? Maybe it is. It's more flexible. Uh, here it might be a good idea for me to discard to try to find a vault. Yep, oh, there we go. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Uh, I, 
guess Crown Vault. Discard now. Might as well, I guess. So I can Crown Vault again. I'm not sure if I want to trigger that shuffle, but... I don't know, it seems pretty good. I haven't hit my other squire. Okay, so I can play squire for actions and squire for buys, which will leave me with room to play one amulet. Right? Yeah. Okay, so you can definitely get a platinum or a colony. Um, probably want to grab a colony just because of the aqueduct points. Um, I mean, they're pretty marginal, but it would definitely be nice to have a platinum, though. But maybe I don't need it. So I'll have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I mean, that is enough for, like, Vault Colony, Crown Colony. Uh, I'd like to be doing more with the, the quarry here, but... Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to go Crown Colony. Well, this is not a great opening hand. Um, I get, well, hmm. I guess we'll just discard Copper Amulet. Yeah, okay. Uh, so... I guess I'll go ahead and play the vault. I want to save the other vault. Or maybe I want to save the farming village. Hmm. No, I just saw several of my vaults, so... Although, I could get a platinum. Oh... Yeah, that's, I like guess, either Platinum or, I guess, Province or, I don't know. Yeah, let's get the Platinum. Yeah, this isn't looking too good for me. I don't think there's any reason for Sepryx not to buy a colony here. 
right, I guess I'll open with Crown Crown Farming Village. <laughs> sure. So we'll just have tons of irrelevant buys. Um There is an aqueduct point sitting out there, but buying a duchy seems not good. So let's just get like farming village vault. Yeah, this shuffle was not friendly to me. It was at least a little bit my fault for triggering the previous shuffle when I did, but I only had two cards in it. All right, I guess we're crowning Farming Village here. Okay. Okay, this is looking better. Okay, um, how much do I have here? Eight, nine, 18. And four is 22, so that is enough for double colony, which is to say I'd still be losing. Um, but maybe I just have to go for it. Probably. Probably too late to trash that last co oh and, hmm hmm yeah I guess we might as well cycle here or do I cycle the amulet it's probably better than cycling the copper oh drew my tunnel that's not what I wanted I suppose in theory I could have anticipated that all right, well, that's pretty much GG. But uh, it's a hypothetical chance. Okay, I assume he does not, in fact, isn't just like slow playing colony money. I would, uh, in which case, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, right. Save some coins and buy a province. Yes. Seems good. Uh, do I need to, hmm. I guess I just play the other square for actions. I mean, I don't have the ability to to do plus buy if I do that is the problem. I could crown the squire. Seems kind of bad too, but maybe that's what I have to do. So I can't even win off of Colony Province. Um, I guess we discard, yeah, we definitely discard the amulet. So 
So what do I have here? Four, ten, uh, fourteen. I can crown gold. So to get to 16, I need four coins. Um, so I guess I save the quarry. All right, so if Seprix manages to dud really hard and I have another really good turn, I could pull this out. Probably not gonna happen, but nope, okay. New one. Uh, he went first on that one. Okay, so cemetery and replace are the trashing options. There's shepherds, so getting rid of estates may not be necessary. Although I guess if you you can shepherd the cemeteries just as easily. So uh, <laughs> so the draw is shepherd archive and city quarter. Uh, no plus buy, but there's gains from Jester and Replace and Horde. Hmm. Five two. Okay. Uh. So what's the best opener here? Replace is a little awkward because there's nothing to replace coppers into except estates. And I, I mean, I guess that's all right with Shepherd, but it's not really what you want to be doing. Uh, Jester. Mostly going to be junking early, which is fine. Um, it also gives you money. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Band of Misfits isn't completely ridiculous. You can play it as Shepherd, and you can also play it as Necromancer to like try to trash Copper. Uh, let's go with Jester. Here, I'll go ahead and get Sinister. So, Seprix grabs a replace. I just, I don't feel like replace is going to do that much for me early. I mean, I guess replacing estates is still fine. So yeah, maybe I do want to replace. I guess here I'll go ahead and grab a shepherd.
Oh, that's a nice trash. If I wanted to top deck an island, I guess I could replace a state into island and give Sepryx a curse. Probably better to draw and then replace into cemetery. So I just trash four coppers here? It is on gain right now on buy, yeah. Nah, we'll go ahead and trash the estate. Need some money in my deck. No ghost for Sepryx. Ooh, that's an expensive city quarter. Hmm. I could just get crop rotation, I guess. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Not going to do anything for me here. But it will next turn. Oh no, it won't. It don't replace us in top deck green. Never mind. Uh, You still got six debt from that one city quarter buy. That's insane. Actually, I should have. Um, done the discard first. It's definitely, definitely better to do. Okay, so we got terminal collision. Finally, it actually took a surprisingly long time. Um, well, I guess we'll just do this first. I would like to get a city quarter just to deal with that, though my action density is not very high. But I can get it without any debt here, so that's nice. Oh, wow! <laughs> well, alrighty then. That actually makes buying the second city quarter better. Sweet. Horde. Interesting. Yeah, so I have a lot of options here with how to start my turn. Um, I guess we'll do this first. And then, I mean, I'm going to draw six cards. So I guess we'll just add the token. Uh, 
I do not want all of that green in my hand, so I will not play this other city quarter. Um, so I guess let's play Jester. Oh, I can replace, I can replace Haunted Mirror uh, to trash it if I don't want to. I mean, I, maybe I just want to buy a cemetery, though. Buy a cemetery, trash, curse, copper, copper, haunted mirror. Um, tries the question of what do I do with this replace? I mean, I can I can replace a silver and still buy a cemetery. Uh, Alternatively, I can replace silver into cemetery and buy another city quarter. Is that like too greedy? I won't have a lot of treasure in my deck at that point. Um, I guess I could just replace curse with a state just to get out of curse. I mean, that's not amazing. I can support another terminal. So I could grab I could grab like a band of misfits um or a jester or another replace. I guess getting another replace seems reasonable. I'm struggling so much to figure out what to do with it this turn that why wouldn't I want another one? Oh, I just top decked a replace. <laughs> oh no, wait, I don't, I'm gonna gain the ghost. I'm not gonna play the ghost. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> been burned by playing ghost into trashers in the past. I don't want that again. So I guess that I'm, given that I'm going to draw three cards off this city quarter, maybe it's still not time to use the plot. Come the curses. Like, in the next three cards, what are the odds that I draw neither any green nor another city quarter? I mean, they got to be pretty low. Seems insane, but yeah. Uh, do I want to replace something before I draw? Hmm. I'm going to draw six cards, so I'm actually going to draw around, so I don't think I need to. I guess you could argue that I should play the Jester, but... Oh, I topped the... the... Wait, what did I top deck here? I thought I... Oh, I, yeah, I don't have two shepherds. Okay, that's fine. Um, I probably I think I have a curse top decked. Yeah, I do. So that's not ideal. Um, so I probably should have done this in a different order, but that's okay. Third replace? All right. <laughs> I can always replace it if I don't want it. Um, it does mean that the ghost might hit the replace, though. So I should replace something into an action that I'd rather have the ghost hit, which is probably Shepherd. 
So I guess we'll do trash, curse, gain, estate, and trash. Estate, gain, shepherd. Um, how do I close this game out? I do need some more money. Like, I could get another Chester, I guess. But I don't really have the actions to support it. Like, maybe I just get another City Quarter right now, and then replace into stuff. That's probably better. Um, I guess I don't use crop rotation here because, well, does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. No, I do, yeah. I have so many tokens. Like, what do I need all these tokens for? It's ridiculous. Um, but I, I guess I'm just saving them for a dud, basically. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so I don't really have anything in hand that I want to replace. So I guess I'll play a city quarter. And might as well, let's see, play a replace and a jester. So let's play the jester first and see what we hit. Oh my gosh, another replace. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I guess I'll gain that and just replace a replace. Um, but let's... I draw first. Let's see. What am I replacing or replace into? I guess I could re could grab another jester. And go ahead and draw that up. Oh man, I do not know how to finish this game. So, I could replace another replace with like a horde or something. How many of these green cards do I wanna hang on to? It's like I could, I could draw the horde, buy like a cemetery, trash some of this stuff. I could also buy an island if I wanted to keep it around. Um, I mean, I, I do have two shepherds. I also have crop rotation, and I have a <laughs> size six sinister plot, so I shouldn't have trouble drawing through it. So let's... Um, yeah, let's replace a cemetery with a horde. Uh, draw that, replace curse with estate, uh, there's no reason to draw that, do I buy an island, uh, a duchy? Let's get an island. We can always replace a gold with a province and like island it or some silly crap like that.
there's the last curse. Hmm, is it time to draw six cards? <laughs> this is not going to be a great city quarter play. I'm going to draw two cards. There's a, So there's a 2 in 13 chance that I see the Shepherd, which is the card I really want to see. Um... Although the other question is... Oh, no, I think... Okay, I'm gonna draw. Okay, so now we have plenty of plenty of draw. Oh my god. <laughs> plenty of draw. Okay, so I want, let's see, do I just play the other Jester first? I've got, I can draw, I can do two more like draw things. Um, or three more, rather. But I don't have enough terminal space to play all this stuff. So do I actually want to play two Jesters? Or do I want to play mostly replaces? Uh, I can. I mean, I do want to replace into um, province, which I can do with the gold. Maybe it makes more sense to chain two replaces so that I still have a gold to buy stuff with. Chester does give me money though, so that's kind of a reasonable alternative. How close is this game to ending on piles? It's actually quite close. So if I replace four times, I should just be able to win the game. Um, like replace curse into a state, replace a state into a state, Replace cemetery, yeah, yeah, but do I, but I don't have the terminal space to do that, right? So I guess I shouldn't have played that jester. I should have thought about that first. Um, well, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if that was an impatience resign or a he thought that I had the win resign, but either way, I do think I was going to win the game. We have no, yeah, we have no landscapes here. Okay, goat, always fun. Magic lamp, also usually fun. No, well, I guess there's Crown Pixie or Crown Lurker for villages. I mean, sacrifice too, but I don't know how many actions you're going to be able to sacrifice. Um, just looking at, like, can you get a bunch of bridges in play? And I think realistically, not really. Oh, 
I forgot to put any of the audio filters on my... I just got a new audio setup and I just realized that I didn't put in any of the filters that I have set up. So that's annoying. I don't remember what all the values are, but hopefully adding that one will make things better. Hmm. Probably should have been thinking more about what my opening is going to be. So... What are you even trying to do on this board? Get platinum by colony, I guess. I guess accelerating trashing with amulet is fine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any good ideas here. Guess um, I could get a crown. Could also just grab some more pixies. I would like a crown. Uh, this is a little. It is a little bit of a waste of the plus buy, but that's eh, fine. Yeah, that's definitely a nice one to get. That is not really what I need. So if I play bridge, I can buy two pixies. Or I can By a secret cave pixie. Yeah, let's do that. At some point, I want. I guess I I should get some lurkers so I can lurk pixies. I didn't consider the fact that um, the the discard treasures to gain four costs gift would actually be really nice after you'd played a bridge. I mean, I guess in in this game it just gives you crown, but I don't think I've actually seen that interaction before of like cost reduction with that gift for whatever reason.
plus one card at the end of the turn. Uh, no. Gain a silver. <sighs> I don't think so. Okay, so I think I've got, yeah, Crown, Pixie, Secret Cave, Amulet, Copper, Lamp. So I guess we don't discard. And buy another Pixie. I said at some point I should pick up lurkers to gain the pixies back, but there's only two of them in the trash right now. Oh, you can lurk the <laughs> the zombies. I <laughs> always forget about that. Uh, zombie apprentice actually looks really good. Hmm, something to keep in mind for sure. Can neutralize his necromancer. <laughs> a wishing for a lurker seems like a pretty sad way to use a wish. Probably just wish for crown. Okay, separates with the wishes. Um, I mean, I can go trash this copper. How much copper do I have overall, though? Some. Yeah, let's trash. Plus one buy. That is a nice one for sure, with the bridge already in play. Sure. Gain a will o wisp? Sure. Uh top deck two will o wisps. And it'll help me draw through. I don't know how important that really is, though. I mean, the wishes will help me draw the remaining wishes, basically. I could actually, like, wish for lurkers and lurk stuff this turn, which would be cool. Um, I know I said wishing for a lurker was a sad thing to do, but, like... I don't know if Seprix has thought about pulling the Zombie Apprentice out, but that seems pretty good. All right, well, Crown Wish isn't actually like a thing. Oh, and I don't actually get to draw the last wish. So I could, I could crown bridge, which would be pretty good. 
as well. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm going to. Wish for one lurker and just gain the zombie apprentice and then crown bridge. Five buys. Um, well, clearly one of them is on this free pixie. Uh, maybe I should grab a gold. I think that would be reasonable. But I might rather have a, just have a, a crown. I could also get a quarry, but like how many actions do I really need? Could also get a second lurker. Second bridge. Hmm. I think I think two lurkers is a good number. And here I'll definitely wish for crown and crown the will o wisp. I guess Crown Willow Wisp is generally better than Crown Pixie because you can't actually uh, get two boons, although you have more control over which boons you get. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what we get from the Pixie. No. All right, so we could a bunch of different things. Um, lurk back some pixies. Play a couple secret caves just to try to find the other bridge. Although I'm going to zombie apprentice this amulet, I think, so that's not so relevant. Yeah, let's... that okay so I can <laughs> I can pile the bridges but realistically well, I don't really need to do that. It's probably just better to get crowns anyway, but there's also like the piles are just low. Hmm. Like Seprix has four bridges. But how is he going to get them all into hand and play them? He does have a couple of wishes left, which means he can empty piles that way too. Like if I, I mean, if I grab like a duchy, that's like not gonna make much of a difference. Um, I also can't, like I can crown bridges, but I only have two bridges. I can't like multi-crown a single bridge. So this is pretty awkward.
Hmm. Yeah, it's really too bad. I don't have enough money for profits. So he has four. If he, I mean, he. There's no way he's going to be able to crown four bridges. I think I need to take one bridge. So if I take one bridge and one crown, he only needs. Yeah, this is. This is really awkward. Like he shouldn't have much draw. He's got. I have one like three, four, but he's got maybe a, like two pixies or something. Um, I mean, you can play Necromancer as pixie, I guess. Maybe I should have picked up the zombie spy too over the pixie. I think the boons are generally better, but. Ugh. I just don't think a duchy is going to do enough. Like if he manages to get all the gains to be able to take all those cards, then Duchy's not going to be enough points. He's going to be able to pick up a province too, probably. But maybe that's not true because of the wishes. Hmm. You go like bridge, duchy, secret caves. And it could also use like some money, but oh man, maybe free silver is better than gold. Still push pushes me into province range, even if I don't get the other bridge down. But then what am I spending my other coins on? Oh, Duchy, I guess. Yeah, this feels really bad. No, I don't I don't I don't I don't think the silver makes sense. We'll just grab Secret caves. I don't know, maybe I'm being way too scared. Maybe there's just no way he has that many gains, but I don't know.
Yeah, another crown. So he's expended two crowns on not bridges, which makes him ending the game less likely. And he's out of wishes, of course. He would need, to win, he would need six gains. Did he start this game? I think, yeah, he did. So he'd need to, he'd need to hit like either duchy, estate, or province. So either five gains with province or six. Ooh, that, that might be the game right there. That boon, if he has the treasure cards in hand, which actually he probably doesn't, come to think of it. Is that enough? That's, that's enough, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I thought I had, I was ahead in that game, but, uh, the, he got ahead on the pile control for reasons I'm not entirely sure of. Maybe just taking all the bridges when he did. I mean, that, well, that's definitely part of the reason. Like, maybe I should have grabbed more bridges myself. I just didn't think I'd be able to get them all into play. Turn of crop rotation. All righty. So, steward and peasant. Both very good cards, probably want to start with those. Druid is potentially a gainer, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, I think I want to go Steward, Peasant. So ultimately, putting putting like plus action on patrol could be really strong, or on steward if you already have a bunch of them. Putting plus action on minion could also make sense. Putting plus buy on minion could make sense. Plus coin, there's a lot of options for the teacher. Um, this is always an open question whether you actually get there or whether you just stick with disciples. Inheritance is also a thing. Um, possibly not a very good thing. I mean, inheriting steward is pretty solid, especially if you have the teacher token to work with. Though the teacher token does not apply to inherited estates. So that is something to keep in mind. Wah. All right, so there's probably some math that determines whether playing steward here is better or worse than playing peasant in terms of moving peasant along. I have to think Playing peasant is better, like, but um, I could see that being incorrect. Anyway, I'm going to pick up another one. 
I know I'm way over terminaled. So, do I want a procession? I can definitely see that the case for seller, um, just to accelerate the peasant line, but um, processing steward seems pretty good, though processing peasant or processing travelers is not good. Um, hmm. This is pretty awkward. I mean, maybe I should just get a silver so I can buy things. Or a seller. Yeah, this is not a good shuffle at all. I didn't hit five. And my terminals collided. Mm. I mean, I wasn't expecting to hit five, but. Yeah, I just don't see procession doing much for me right now. So I guess I'll just get the seller. I don't know. gonna end up like not trashing that's my prediction so I'm gonna keep playing the peasant oh okay of course this means my peasant and my soldier are gonna collide but what can you do At this time, I will get a silver. Uh, I guess since I already have fugitive and peasant in hand, let's discard seller. You got a minion. OP. Uh, well, I'm going to as well, so that's fine. I did get a disciple first, so that's nice. Well, okay, not really first, actually, because he got to shuffle first. So do I want another peasant? I mean, I, I, I ultimately, I, well, I mean, I might for the plus buy is basically the reason, but do I need it now? I don't think it's a great idea right now. <laughs> oh. Just three minions? Man. Looks like I'm losing this game. I mean, that first shuffle definitely sent me back, so I guess that's not super surprising.
Yeah, I don't know what I buy on this turn either. I do ultimately want more stewards in my deck probably because that's like a good card to put plus action on, but but going into this shuffle, like I'll have the teacher, but I don't, you know, I will still have so like, oh my gosh. He's got four minions and I've got one. This is so bad. Oh, I think, I mean, I guess you could make the argument that I shouldn't take the teacher, but I think I need to. Yeah, I guess, is Steward the card I'm even going to want to put it on first? I mean, I don't have a concentration of anything in particular in my deck. Boy, this sucks. Yeah, I'll try it. I think here I just sell her all. Well, okay, he's about to make me discard my hand, probably. Oh, no. Yeah, so I think I just sell her all of my cards, try to find the teacher as quickly as possible. Uh, okay, well, I can guarantee it here. Uh Cellaring one copper isn't gonna be very good. Oh yeah, he's got the soldier with all those minions too. I should probably just resign this game. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, that was frustrating. <laughs> I don't really know what I needed to do differently there, or if it was just the the first shuffle kind of snowballed things away from me, but that was painful. All right, well, that is the end of my run in the Intrigue Mix tournament. I went two and 10. <laughs> it was a pretty brutal, uh, a brutal, brutal group of players that I got put into. <laughs> Not an impressive performance by any means, but that's okay. Um, and hopefully next time I'll remember to adjust my audio setup correctly so I can actually get some feedback on whether it's improved from the way it used to be. Uh, so see you next time for some more Dominion. <laughs>